Hello and welcome to this video where we will add another level to our game, a level 2. Now a couple of things uh, just to be aware of before we start, I'm going to try and absolutely whiz and zoom through this one really really fast just because a lot of the techniques we will have done previously in adding a game over screen, there's a lot of repetition there so I'll try and go quite fast. And secondly, things that you need to note, uh, if you wanted to make a level 3, you'd follow the exact same procedures or not exactly you'd obviously change the numbers around stuff like that um, but it's the same techniques that you will use okay um, so let's jump right into it now the first thing you should remember is that in video 9 of this playlist which was all about adding a collectible item I also made a variable called score right there okay I chose for it not to be seen um, but we have got something called score so I might just show it up for now and every time you collected one of the collectible items, the apples, um, it would change score by one. Now you will notice we've got one, two, three, four, five, six apples on there, okay? So six will be the magic number of when you get score to six, so once you've collected all the apples, you'll go to level two. So first thing we need to do is we need to realistically um, make a new backdrop. So I will paint a new backdrop. Let's have a look. I'll just move this screen over a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Um, again, I'm going to make this really, really simplistic. Um, I apologize. Um, it's not going to be great in the slightest, um, but we'll see how it works out. Okay. Uh, let's not make it um, too dark like that. Let's maybe make a, let's see, maybe a light greenish type color. And then let's add some walls. Um, I'm not going to add any textures or anything like that to the walls. I'm just going to make it really, really simplistic. Uh, let's see. How about some orange walls? Uh, let's go like that. Uh, like that. Uh, like that. I'm not even filling the middle in because I'm just going to go as fast as I can. Okay. Um, so technically that might be, um, that might be me finished. Um, for my for my actual background or my backdrop for it so let's move the screen back over here and there we go so let's get rid of um, all the start and hide um, and I wonder which apple that one is there we go that first one let's hide that as well right so I'm on this stage now and this is known as let's give it a good backdrop let's just call it level two there we go very original um so now i've got a level two so you can see now this is building up so i've got my title screen instructions uh, my level one screen my game over screen and my backdrop one which once you click off and click on is now known as level two okay so for every one of these i would like to see i think these are automatically going to hide but let's have a look um yeah, no, I think we're okay. We'll see if we come about any problems as we go on. So I would like it to be um, the script for this. I would like it to be, what have we got? We've got when green flag clicked, switch to title screen, yep. When we switch to level one, set lives to three. Um, and on again, right, so let's make a new one. When backdrop switches to level two, what are we gonna do? Um, we probably don't want to change the lives, but again, some games you can have an extra life every time you go up a level. Uh, let's have a look, but I might, maybe I could just throw that code in, but get rid of the set lives. So it will be the same code for if lives equals zero, go to the game over screen and broadcast message one, which then hides everything. But I would also like it to be let's see um i'm going to show up and i'm going to add some new sprites i think um when backdrop switches to level two forever lives equals zero switch the game over yep so let's add some new sprites um again you should really have these in your assets or you should have ready-made assets but i'm just going to choose from the library and the thing you want to collect this time is some bananas there we go I've got some bananas and I would also like some enemies to be shown. In fact, no, I'm going to recycle my enemies. I'm still going to use the ghouls. So we've got bananas right there. And I might just put the bananas right there. Make them shrink. 
and so on and that's what you're trying to get on this one okay so let's have a look at the bat then now so let's move over here so you can see all of the code and then again i can have worm backdrop which is to level two just make sure that we are showing up there we go um what else would we like to do so let's just i tell you what let's just um go from there or in fact actually let's put some code the bananas um so let's have a look events when backdrops which is to level two we want to show so again it's kind of getting back into the rhythm and just making sure that when the green flag is clicked so when the game very first starts we are hiding and then at a certain point in the game we are showing up there we go um so with this backdrop as well we would want it to be let's have a look we want it to be when the score gets to six so forever if um score equals six because that was the number of apples then we switch into that backdrop okay so forever if uh let's have a look let's rep or kind of work from there so let's go back to level one when backdrop switches to level one and let's add in a forever if let's see forever if and then i put the equals uh the something equals something box in there forever if um score equals six then what we're gonna do we are gonna go to looks and we're gonna switch backdrop to level two there we go so once that gets to there then when backdrop switches to level two uh yep that's absolutely perfect um or i think it's absolutely perfect at the moment on the banana we've got that um right let's give it a go let's see what happens so far then um so start new game and we're showing up scores this time so we can see so start new game oh what's the life already so my score is now at one and it actually possibly for the first time kind of feels like i'm playing a real game three for oh that course is after me now and it's not the easiest game either oh, take advantage of that whoa five and hopefully there we go right so i've still got them ghosts um which is um which is okay i guess um obviously i can fly through these now which is not great um now with level two as well you you will want to increase difficulty um so stop right there um in fact actually yeah no stop right there um so um to increase difficulty what am i going to do to this um i think if we look down at my list of assets i'm going to duplicate some of them so i've now got google 4 and google 5 and they yep they've still got the code there for that as well so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to have google 4 and 5 i'm going to have it as let's see Let's just tidy up some of this code. Um, I'm just going to have it as uh, we're not showing up. We're only showing up when we get to level two. So let's see. Level two. Oh, there we go. Um, cool. Okay. Let's give that a go then now. Okay. So press the green flag again. Let's test. Um, you will notice as well a lot of the time I might appear like I'm just kind of doing stuff and then seeing what happens I am um, that's part of making programs making games is just press see what happens if something goes wrong then we go from there okay so we've got five take advantage of the glitch and then this six on such should switch now there we go right and now I seem to have a whole lot more um, ghosts going on um, which does uh, make it I don't know why that one's not moving which does make it a lot more difficult to to play as well especially if I had that wall going on okay so let's click on the bat and let's figure out how to do that wall okay and I've got a feeling this game is going to be very hard um, so where have we got the existing code there we go right let's duplicate that code so if you notice that's forever if touching that color then we're going to do 
uh, we're going to turn 180 degrees and kind of jump out the way of the wall as well so I've replicated that or duplicated that and I'm going to make it when backdrop switches to level 2 if you touch colour and I want that orangey colour so there we go that orangey colour do that so let's go backwards and then stop play start again and you'll notice I've only got three of the five ghouls on the screen now so that code has worked two three let's go down this way four five and let's see if it switches to the new level again six there we go right so oh there we go game over um, I can still fly around so I should probably save that and that banana is still there as well so I need that uh, from the previous video when receive message one then hide same as the bat if I click return to title screen um, that's messed up a little bit as well I think so uh, what we'd have to do um, which you should be thinking about yourself now as well is thinking um, right let's go back to this stage and then it will be let's have a look um, when or if lives equals right let's see I'm trying to run through in my head but we'll just go for it okay so when I receive message one which was the game over type message then we will looks switch to backdrop title screen and there we go. Let's stop them from chasing me. Switch to backdrop title screen. Oh, no, actually, it wasn't that, was it? Because it was this button. So, uh, switch to backdrop title screen. And oh, I'm getting a bit confused now. Let's see. Um, where's the message one? Where's the message one? Hide let's see um, again maybe you should plan it out on paper and you won't get yourself into these situations let's have a look should really be on the bar I'd imagine uh, this is um, you will generally see as well what happens when you sleep and then you wake up the next day and then you kind of um, oh. Uh, you forget a little bit of where you are up to so let's see let's see let's see um, stop play let's go from there let's see right so the bat let's see my oh. and again as projects get more complicated um, you will come across more errors right so return to title screen so title screen right uh, backdrop hmm how am I getting rid of them so title screen just shows them um, let's see Broadcast message one, switch to backdrop game over. Broadcast message one. Let's see. Um, hopefully, you, you could maybe figure it out before I do. Right, guys, sorry about that. Um, I figured it out. It is through this piece of code here. So when we switch to level one forever, if score equals six, then switch to level two. So we're constantly switching to level two because we've not reached the biggest score equals six. So what we need to do is when we click on the game over button or return to title screen button, sorry, we need to also set lives to zero but change it from lives to score um, so then we reset in the score as well so whenever we return to title screen we don't want that score variable to be doing anything except for zero so it should always be lives free score zero when you're at the title screen and that's around about it um, sorry for wasting a lot of your time during that but hopefully give you guys a chance to try and figure it out for yourself um, so in this video we've added another level and we have increased the difficulty other ways to increase the difficulty maybe um, 
add more collectible items, make ghosts, or add other sprites that chase a little bit faster and so on. There's lots of ways to do it. But thank you very much um, for watching this video. Goodbye.